the European uh, debt problem festers on, of course, and the, uh, the Germans and uh, the French seem to have come to some rev resolution about how they're going to uh, inject capital back into the banks over there, uh, though it's not <laughs> quite clear that uh, what they've agreed on is something that uh, all parties have signed on to, Mary. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Uh, well, markets uh, were kind of happy today, and a lot of people were wondering why that would be. Because, More than 200 you know, points. Yeah, and, and in Europe, I mean, there was a, a lot of uh, positive reaction. Um, the cost of financing Spanish debt came down. Not a huge amount, but almost uh, 50 basis points. Um, and I think people were looking at that and saying, why? I mean, there's really nothing firm here. But I think the good news was that Germany is showing that it's still engaged in the process. And even though Chancellor Merkel has been saying all along that she's not going to do anything to put at risk German taxpayers and so forth until Spain and Italy show that they're willing to make some concessions, the fact that they were at the table and there were some things what they said, you know, that they put on a track toward progress, I think people were looking for some good news and and so that's why markets are well, rallied. Well, Mary, help me to understand a little bit why ultimately it isn't kind of a shell game. I mean, the good news here apparently was what the was that the European <laughs> Stability Fund would inject capital directly into the banks, therefore, thereby somehow protecting the balance sheets of Italy of and sovereigns. Spain itself. Yeah. So somehow, because Italy and Spain themselves aren't going to give them money, but it's coming from this other facility, things are going to be okay? <laughs> well, the reason, I think there were two reasons why that's considered maybe a step in the right direction. Hmm. One is that they said that those loans that they make to those banks will not have priority over other money that's put in from the private sector. Now imagine you're a private sector investor and you're thinking, oh, maybe I should buy some of these Spanish banks, you know, get it on the bottom. Well, you're not going to do that if you think that the government's also going to give them money and then if there's a problem, the government is going to be first in line and you're going to be in the back of the line. So this sort of said, okay, you're not going to be subordinated. That was good news. Um, the other thing that's good news is the banks have to be recapitalized. Yeah. And if they are recapitalized, along with other things, okay, and that's what we're waiting for, then Europe can start, Spain can start growing again. So I think the idea would be recapitalize the banks along with reforms, which uh, Chancellor Merkel is still trying to get Spain to do, and maybe we can get some growth out of this country, which actually I think could save a lot of what um, we think now is lost. I mean, if Spain grows, some of those loans are not going to go bad. If Spain doesn't grow, forget it. Yeah, we have about a minute left. I wanted to ask you about that, though. One of the recurring problems has been the whether how many toxic assets still sit inside these European banks. And we keep getting surprised by yeah. what they're holding. That's really, I think, been the big problem for Spain is its credibility is completely shot because it went from sort of, oh, 12 billion would do it to 20 billion would do it to 40 billion would do it. And, and now most people say that, you know, if all of these loans go bad, you know, you're talking about 250 billion euros at least. Um, but again, I'm not, we don't know that yet. We're not going to have a good report on that until September. But I'm not convinced that all those loans have to go bad. That's what's so frustrating about this. You know, if the Spanish government would think about cutting taxes, and doing some of the pro-growth stuff that we know is needed to make the economy more competitive, maybe you wouldn't have those loans going bad. 